One of the finishing touches we want to put on our game is a customized splash screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and extract the splash screen vector kit I've created for you, and then how to use Inkscape to customize it to create a get ready image that includes the name of your game. That'll be the splash screen that your users see. Refer to the following slide for the username and password to download the splash screen kit referred to in this video. Let's get started. Click on the link to the splash screen kit and provide the username and password. Once downloaded, you want to go to your downloads directory. There's a lot of ways to do this. And you want to cut the splash screen kit dot zip file. And you're going to move that to your Colstock game dev model platformer directory and paste it. We're going to extract this to the same location. Find the file, right click, extract all, and make sure that's going under your model platformer directory. Open up the splash screen kit vector in Inkscape. Using the selection tool, highlight everything below the letters and go to object, lower to bottom. You can also use the end key. This will move that entire object to the back so that you can put letters in front of it. First thing I want you to do, I have some nice grouped letters for you. Go ahead and spell the name of your game by dragging the letters. You can control C and control V to duplicate the letters. We're going to work on distributing our letters. Go to object menu, align and distribute. Make sure that you can see the align and distribute bar on your right. This bar is critical to allow us to align and distribute our selections. We're going to try to distribute the letters of the word return. So we selected the word return and now we're trying out the different ways to distribute it above our options for aligning. Let's try sizing things. Let's choose the word the and up in the toolbar we're going to click the lock and then change the width and height as we see fit. By clicking the lock it makes sure that our changes are proportional with no distortion. Select the word return, same thing. We can also group our letters together to place them and rotate them. Simply select the letters you want and object group or control G. If you click on a selection one more time, it'll show you rotation handles that you can use to rotate. Once again, select the letters you want, control G or object group. With all these techniques, you should have everything you need to create the title however you see fit. Once you have everything, we're going to select everything south of the letters and we're going to export this as a raster. Go down to the export PNG image bar and change your width to 1920. It should automatically adjust the height to 1080. Then click export as. We are going to override the get ready image that we used in our game. So go to the assets folder and find our original get ready PNG. Click save and export. When prompted to replace, confirm with the replace. Now we're going to go back to construct two, find our get ready object type, and we're going to replace it with the new image. Simply navigate to our new get ready image, select it, and there you are. We should be able to play our game now and it will show us our new title screen.